Hi, Raymond Despedrauskas, creator of the local trade copper. In this video, I want to show that you can configure your client TA uh, to not accept new trades or not accept um, trade close signals. You know, let me show you. We have these three options right there. So all of them are set to true by default. Uh, the first one reads accept new trade signals. So client TA by default will accept new trade signals. Another one is accept trade modify signals. It's set to true as well by default. So this means client TA by default will accept all the trade modification signals. So if the trade gets modified on the master account, it will get modified on the client account as well. And the third one is accept trade close signals. And by default, it, it it is set to true as well, so this means client TA will always monitor for any closing signals and close the trade immediately on the client account when it gets closed on the master account. There, there are exceptions to this rule uh, if it's set to true, but wait for SLTP is set to true as well, then there would be exceptions, but that's explained in, in, in the the previous video so please go back and watch that if you skipped it okay so let me let me show how this works so by default all of those are true so it's obvious that copper will take all the operations uh, like like in the previous videos but what if I set for example trade modify signals to false let me show you what will happen so let me open a new trade I go to the master account and open a buy trade. I go back to the client account and I see the new trade is open. Now if I change stop loss or take profit, this will not happen on the client account because CA is said not to apply any changes to trades. Sorry. Here we are. So if I change this to true and click OK, EA should set immediately. Here we go. SLNTP was set immediately. Okay, so another another option is to disable close signals. If I turn turn this feature off, I can safely close the trade on the master account and it will still be running on the client account. Now it's important to mention that if it happens so that you remove the client EA from the chart and, and attach it again, it will have its default settings with that option set to true. And if you execute it with the option true, it will close the trade. So you should, you should remember that and I will I will demonstrate this. Let's say I start the client EA. Uh, first I will remove it from the chart like that and then I enter my license key, I go down and now I need to set this to false because previously I was using this false and only because of this I was left with the straight open even though it was closed in the master account. And if I set this to false and click OK, Client EA will not touch that trade. It will just leave it running. So that's the proper way of restarting the EA if you happen to remove it completely from the chart. If you just happen to close the MetaTrader and open it again, you don't have to do this because the settings are saved and uh, automatically loaded previously used settings. But if you happen to remove it from the chart and attach it again, just like that, remove and you attach again, you can see that no settings are here, so no license key and that option is obviously set to true. So if I set my license key and I go to, let's say I forget to set this to true, I mean false, and I click OK. And what will happen is that EA will close the trade immediately. 
So make sure you note of that. Now let me show you one more example. I will open the buy trade which gets copied to the client account immediately. And then let's say I just go to my settings and I said that I don't want any new trades to be copied. But I leave modify signals and close signals as true. So this means that client EA will monitor for any changes for already existing trades, but it will not accept any new trades. So now I go back to my master account and I will open a sell trade and in the client account no sell trade was copied and I can see that this red question mark appears which means that uh, you know red color indicates if any uh, of the trades were ignored it, you can see this short explanation and it says see experts tab for more information if I switch to experts tab I can see it says ignored trade and the number of trade and it says ignored because EA is said to not accept new trades from this signal provider and then signal provider ID actually it's a client account number I think yeah that's a client account number of the master client uh, sorry master account number okay so now let me show you one more thing if we go back and I make changes to the buy order that was previously copied, you can see that client EA still applies changes to already existing trades. And if we close that by order, client EA will close it as well because it's still set to monitor those actions. Now let me show you another example. I will set to accept new trades. And then I go back to my master account. And I will open new buy order, which will get copied. And then I will apply, actually no stop loss at the moment. See, it's the client account with the trade copied. And it and a client EA is monitoring closely the master account if any trades will be modified or not. If stop loss or take profit gets changed uh, on the master account, client EA will change this immediately on the client account. So basically, you know, every second the synchronization is happening and the client EA always tries to match the trade uh, parameters to the master trades. So even if I change, make some changes manually on the client account, we can see that client EA changed back to, to the master trade settings. We can see in the parameter experts tab that client EA modified it and changed SL into P back to zero because that's what we have on the master trade. Now, if you want this behavior uh, to kind of to change this behavior, you can go to EA properties and set accept trade modify signals to false. This way, client EA will not monitor any changes. And now you can set your stop loss and take profit manually on any positions on the client account. But note that it doesn't matter what stop loss or take profit you add on the master account, client account will not see any of those and just ignore them. But, but on the other side, this allows you to control stop loss and take profit manually, manually on the client side if that's what you need. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.